Hi, Blitz. Um, so getting right into it, at the world premiere, you called Fantasia the Phoenix. Yes. And so what does that like mean? And like, what was it like being on set and watching her really embody Celie? Oh, man. Wow. Yeah. My introduction to Fantasia was like most of us on that American Idol stage, barefooted, you know, singing Summertime. And that's never left me. And to watch her go through all the trials, tribulations, um, often because she didn't look like what the uh, larger uh, machine wanted to push. Um, and she paid a price for that. It had been written off. Um, and so to see her step into her power and have this second birth, and it's even, it's even grander than than before, um, yeah, it makes me emotional. Yeah. Like knowing that I had a small part to play in that growth. And it's not only ex external, even though she's glowing. Mm -hmm. um, it's internal. She went through a true healing. And being a small part of my sister's healing journey, well, that's why we do this art, you know? And so I couldn't be prouder of her saying yes to her power mm -hmm. and that for me is the most important thing definitely and so i know that you said you went back to read alice walker's novel before getting into this and so it starts off with dear god what would your dear god letter be now that the film is complete wow Whew. dear god yeah man i mean my dear god will be simply that this work reaches as many people as possible people who are ready to open their hearts and go through their own healing journeys. Mm -hmm. And that my existence as a kid born in Ghana with absolutely no path from our cry to Hollywood, one that was forged through pain and rejection and all that, is a living testament to somebody else. Um, no matter where you're growing up, mm -hmm. as long as you know you can believe and you can chart a course, you can arrive there. And to be on that purple carpet Looking to my left, looking to my right, nothing but legends. That's my dear God. That's my dear God. Would you also consider that to be your look at what God has done moment? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Um, and it's not just the fact that we completed a film. Mm -hmm. It's not the fact that I made a studio picture. Mm -hmm. It's the fact that I made some real lifelong bonds in the process of doing this cast, my crew, these are friends and family now, and that's all we ever need, and that's all we ever want, is to belong, and coming to Hollywood and finding this family, I mean, that's it, mm -hmm. because the story can be very different, yeah. you know, based on who you interface with, mm -hmm. so yes, I will say that is absolutely my look what God has done.